take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. So could you just give me a name for the camera? Uh, my name is Pascal Langner. Uh, what is the text that was given to you? I have uh, Norman Jaden and Ethan as well. Sean may be dead in a few hours. He wants to test me. He wants to punish me for Jason's death. I... See, I'm, I'm the one who, who, sh who should have died. I... I, I wanted to save him. I would have done anything to give my, my, my life for his, but I, I couldn't. Not, not a day goes by that I, I don't see his face. Now, Sean has got nothing to do with that, not, nor do any of the other children. I, this has to stop. You've got to hand yourself into the police. Look, if, if I hand myself into the police, I lose all chances of finding Sean. They'll question me, but, but I won't be able to tell them anything because I don't know anything. I don't know what happened. Ethan, you may have killed those children. You don't know what you're capable of. You must end yourself oh, in. I have to save Sean at all costs. He may be a, a prisoner somewhere, and I'm the only one who knows where. If, if I have to face up to all these trials to prove to myself that I love my son, then I'll do it. Ethan, it's crazy. You have to hand yourself in. I'll hand myself into the police when I have found Sean. Now, don't... Promise me, you, you won't inform on me until I have found my son. Recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping. Obviously, Hello there, time sweetheart. Fast for the what can I do for you? To find the child. I'd like a room. I'm Michael Nettie for ICN. For you? Anything. Hmm. That's for sure. I'm 25, mm -hmm. been modeling for five years. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mean to get into modeling at all. I was scouted on the street, I was shopping with my mum. The last time I saw him, he was watching a convoy of trucks going by. I was about 50 yards away. And he suddenly turned and looked at me. Locked on my eyes. And I didn't realize what was happening straight away. I heard cries from behind me. Everyone started running in slow motion. I just remained motionless, locked on his gaze. I hadn't noticed the detonator in his hand. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. <laughs> Fucking asshole! Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Yeah. Leonor can then PFT. Can you tell me a bit about what you've done recently? Um, the last thing I did, I did a thing called Richard the Lionheart for the BBC. Cora confessed. <laughs> you beat him all night to make him talk! He would have confessed to Kennedy's assassination if you asked him! Your confession is a heap of shit! Cora is not the origami killer. He's a sick child killer. But he has nothing to do with the disappearance of Sean Mars. We have lost time for nothing. And all this time that continues to, and all that time, it continues to rain. According to the weather forecast, we've got less than 12 hours before we reach 7 inches of rainfall. And we have the remotest idea where Sean Mars is. I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. So? This is where you work? Disappointed? No, it's just very different from, from what I imagined. How do you become a private eye? Well, I was a cop for 20 years and one fine day my wife decided to run off with them. You know, so... You, you should see all the faces of the husbands when they first discover that I know that they have a mistress. It's like a little kid, their hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, I, I could have tripled my salary, you know, if I accepted everything they promised me, just to keep quiet.